everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I am checking in with a poppy seeding update. Now, if you've been watching the videos from my poppy, how to grow poppies um, playlist, you'll know that I did seeding really from October all the way through January. And so I wanted to give you an update now that we're in the second week of March to see how everything is shaping out. Um, I'm really, really pleased with um, pretty much everything. So this is a very cheerful update. We will start here with the one cubic foot bags of soil cube that I direct seeded in early January. And you can see they've grown a lot. And I have not fertilized these at all. My goal was to be as hands off as possible. You know, I didn't do anything except open the bags and scatter the seeds directly on top. And even, you know, in the other pots, the other grow bags, the poppies are doing great. And you might remember that I scattered a bunch of poppy seeds on the ground as well, because poppies love to grow in gravel. The problem here is that this actually has ground cloth underneath the Chapel Hill grit. So I suspect that these won't actually grow as well as on the other side of the property where the Chapel Hill grit doesn't have uh, landscape fabric. But overall, everything is doing really great. And not only are the poppies growing in the containers, but the potatoes that were planted back in January are also starting to show vegetation. As we walk across the yard, you'll see the self-sown poppies right along edges are really big. That's the poppies right here. They're going to be so pretty. You see various stages of them here from largest down to smaller. This is like a pathway, so the ground is more compact here. It's really nice. The, the, the deer have been eating absolutely everything and they've been ripping out the uh, violas literally as they nibble on them. They just rip the root ball out, but they don't touch the poppies. So it's one huge benefit that they offer. Over across here, this is actually where I sowed poppies first. These were done in October. They're smaller than the self-sown ones, but they're growing really well. I know these are gonna be so showy. And over here on the south side of the north border, you see again, the self-sown poppies are definitely the largest. And then these are all poppies that I, that I sowed. And I also sowed Escholtia californica, the California poppy in here. So we've got Escholtia, we've got Larkspur, you've got Pepaver somniferum, and then of course weeds like Lamium and Vetch. Now here into these containers where some are planted with poppies and some are planted with potatoes, I'm really pleased to say both are growing. So we've got lots of poppy germination here some poppies here, also potatoes here. This one, I see potatoes just starting to pop out. Poppies here, look at those potatoes. Growing really well. This pot doesn't seem to have anything going on in it. And that's okay, I can plant something. Same thing here, I actually think these these pots almost drain too well for this season. These are great for tomatoes, but maybe too dry for these cool season crops. So I do see some poppies here and here. And then look at those mix of potatoes and poppies together, growing really well. Here I see potatoes starting to pop out. More potatoes and more poppies. I've never done poppies in containers. This is the first year, but so far, I think it's going to be a success. Now, as I mentioned, poppies love to grow in gravel, and on this side, there isn't ground cloth under this Chapel Hill grit. So you see the poppies can really develop a nice deep tap root 
and they love to grow in the undisturbed areas like right here next to a concrete block obviously that was a self-sown poppy and look at how big it is but there's poppies kind of scattered all throughout this walkway and I tend to leave them <laughs> because well I can't help myself now there are some poppies also growing in this border and I definitely have some weeding to do very specifically of this velcro weed which to me is one of the worst in my garden but you can see again lots of lots of good poppy development and good Escholtia development the California poppy that's right there some smaller ones and then a nice big clump right there when in doubt sow your poppies along a bottle edge in gravel and they will look like that and as we make our way through this border I wanted to show you specifically how well these have done having the cattle fence down has definitely made a big difference with regard to the cats getting in here and digging I'm gonna leave it for a little while longer though I think these plants are well established enough it is very dry but we do have what we have rain in our forecast so I'm not gonna set up a sprinkler yet but I definitely don't want these to get dehydrated and then start to fail since they're looking really good on this side of the border it's primarily nigella larkspur and just a few poppies throughout it's really primarily nigella this was all self-sown i didn't actually scatter any seeds here this winter at all i think it's going to be really beautiful now in contrast over here this didn't get done until the first week of january and i was really worried that they weren't going to germinate but they are germinating and that's what all of this is good pretty good ground coverage there are some weeds mixed in but overall i think this border is going to be very dynamic but the question is going to be when will these actually flower because they are so small at this stage will they actually be blooming for the spring open garden that is set for saturday may 7th from noon to 4 p.m and this is a great example of showing you the difference between self-sown and direct sown in their growth rate and also to show you what a a vetch infestation looks like so this is all vetch here's a self-sown poppy really quite large all of these are the poppies that i sowed back in the beginning of january so this will be a great experiment to see and really correlate the timing of seeding with the timing of flowering that's definitely some data that we will all benefit from and here in the foundation bed first of all worth noting all the daffodils are in bloom and you can really see how much the direct seeded spring flowers have grown including the bachelor buttons the larkspur and of course the poppies which are growing quite well scattered all throughout this border it's a great density of them and i really think this is going to be a spectacular scene for the beginning of may that was definitely my goal for getting this planted on my target date of black friday Well, like I said, overall, I'm really pleased with the poppy germination that I have this season. I do think it's going to be a beautiful spring display, which is always my goal with growing these poppies. And I hope that these videos are helpful for you so that you can compare the development of your poppies to mine. And I look forward to continuing giving you updates over the next couple of months as we await all of these beautiful blossoms. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.